Welcome to Fallout 4 Jetpack Adventures! This is Arcade Night, and guys, on this series, we're gonna build a mighty post apocalyptic keep with the help of you subscribers. And not only we're gonna build the keep with the help of you guys, but we're gonna control the area like a mighty medieval lord with the help of our post apocalyptic power armor plus a mini Ahmad. And we can't forget, we have jetpacks, but not just any jetpacks. I'm talking about full-on, flying through the air, Iron Man-style jetpacks. I can't wait to show you guys. So sit back on your comfy thrones, grab a golden chalice of your favorite tasty beverage as we get ready to play Fallout 4 Jetpack Adventures. Oh, I can't wait to start flying around and securing these lands around my mighty fortification. But guys, we're going to have a great time on this series. Not only are you going to help me build this mighty fortification, plus hopefully, if we're lucky, we'll build more than one. Uh, but we're going to secure these lands using an awesome jetpack and occasionally go on some quests and just have a good time in Fallout. Uh, but guys, I need your help building this fortification and I want to start it kind of halfway through so you guys can be a part of this. And I want to keep a slight medieval theme to this, which is kind of the theme of my channel. Uh, but understand that this this fortification is a, but a work in progress these generators of course we're going to move to a better spot down the road but we're on the roof of my fortification it's about as high as you can get in the starlight drive-in um, build area and i know if we go to abanathy farms we can build much higher and hopefully we'll do that soon in the future but for now we're going to concentrate on uh, this starlight drive-in but i have my vertibird uh, landing spot right here on the roof, but let's go down into the main power armor hangar bay. Let's go ahead and do that, guys, and go ahead and get the first person. So, um, here is my power armor hangar bay, and the way I've kind of designed this, and, and let's start over towards this section, is um, I've designed this as a hangar bay where there's all these different personalities that have all this different power armor. So just imagine that this is one particular. Uh, Knight's station and he's decorated it the way he chooses to and, and there's his armor that's best displayed Also guys, here's another station here, and I've got just various stations set up I've got an Adam cat station here with the Adam cat's power armor also. I've got some uh, some anarchy power armor or um, a Raider power armor here in this station and then also I've got uh, a female knight here in her pink power armor and now this currently is my station. Now guys, this is all a work in progress and I am so anxious to hear all you guys' suggestions. I know there are amazing Fallout 4 builds out there. I see what's going on. Some absolutely amazing builds. But guys, I wanted to build this with you guys together and make it as realistic as possible and almost make it kind of feel a little bit medieval as well. Uh, we got a few more power armor stations here of various degrees and then just odds and ends. I am slowly building up uh, my X01 power armor. I almost have all the pieces, uh, but what I'm most excited about, guys, is uh, trying out the jetpack today and trying to control the area with the jetpack. But I have a little seating area here where uh, all my knights can watch some TV, grab some nice tasty beverages. Uh, let's grab a, a Nuka Cola, guys. Mmm have a nice tasty beverage of a nuka cola let me take a sip oh so tasty indeed and then uh, of course i've got all my various magazines and bobbleheads blah 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 but guys i wanted to make this place feel alive so i have this rack here with all this junk on it and i just imagine a knight coming up here repairing his power armor grabbing various nuclear materials and steel and bits here and there going into to cases and toolboxes and grabbing the materials they need maybe coming over here to the workbenches and and working on some things here and there and then also i've got kind of a command station right here now it's still a work in progress we're gonna work on these lights guys and i'm looking for some great suggestions from you guys on, on how to 
really put together a really great kind of light display here that'll let people know this is the exit to fly out from. But we've got various displays and TVs here and kind of this little station. And I tried to kind of make it feel alive as much as possible with clipboards and coffee cups and cigars and fans and, and various things kind of just lying around. So if you really look deep, if you go into the different areas, there's, you know, some things on the bar and an eight ball and a pen and some flower vases and teddy bears and, you know, try, try to make it feel as real as possible. But, but guys, I, I know you're here for, for one thing. Uh, one thing only. We're going to test out this power armor. Now, now, guys, I'm using several mods. You may see some things that you don't see in the... the the native Fallout game, and I've left a list of all the particular mods in the description below. But I want to tell you what we're going to do today. I have this uh, this kind of exit platform and landing platform right outside of my base. And I think what we're going to try to do today is using the power armor without landing one time, take off from my platform and fly all the way over to this factory and land on the top of that chimney. That would be fantastic. And if there happens to be raiders there, let's take them out while we're there. So guys, please forgive the mess. We are still in construction and I need your guys' help. But I've installed a mod um, for this game that lets the jetpack excel to extreme heights. Now, I've practiced quite a bit to be able to wield this jetpack properly. Um, but you can't fly necessarily forward but you can manipulate it to really travel around and, and I, I don't know if you guys have any experience with jetpacks before. If you've reached level 41 and and have all the necessary requirements to build a jetpack my character has definitely focused on uh, making sure that he can wield and build any power armor that needs be and of course I've got the nice flames paint job on this on the next episode guys we're gonna display some other paint jobs for some power armors for some incredible mods that are out there but let's see if we can make it all the way over there before the sun goes down. Now, now normally when you're using uh, the jetpack in the regular game, you can only, you know, kind of jump a little bit and then, oh, my AP's out and I have to fall. With this mod, they basically just eliminate all the AP, um, all the action points for the jetpack. So you can fly as high as you want. So if we want to just look up to the sky, and just soar as high as we possibly want, we can definitely do that and leave Fallout 4 behind us. Look at this. Soaring so high. Absolutely love it. And landing right back where we were. But here's what we're going to do. We're going to try to do this in one fell swoop. We're going to try to get all the way over there to that chimney without landing. So you're going to have to bear with me, guys. It's been a little while since I've done this, but I have practiced quite a bit. So uh, let's get in first person. Uh, let's get ready. I'm, I'm going to take a little running jump because uh, it always helps to uh, take a little running jump, guys, uh, to get that forward momentum going. Uh, so are, are you ready? Take a sip of my tasty beverage before we make this trip. Uh -huh. You know what, guys? I almost forgot something. I almost forgot. I have no weapons on me. <laughs> I have absolutely no weapons, but you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to grab one weapon. I'm just going to grab one weapon. It's my favorite weapon in the game, um, and it's the electrified serrated Chinese officer's sword. So I'm going to go ahead and take that, and I make sure that's in my inventory. Boom. All right, so now we're ready. Now we're ready. Now we're ready. Now we're ready. All I'm going to take is the sword, and we're going to kick some ass if we see some bandits. All right, guys, are you ready? Let's run, and let's... All right, let's see. Now, what I found is the best way to use this is to kind of get a few little bursts. Try not to get too high. If you get too high, you'll um, basically fly right out of the Fallout 4 map and it drops you on the ground. So certain areas you can fly higher than others. And sometimes you can get just a nice spot right in the middle where if you just keep a little bit of gas, you can keep traveling forward. But basically, it's, it's, it's a matter of uh, falling instead of flying using, using this jetpack. Unfortunately, I don't know if there's any mods available now that allow you to truly fly like Tony Stark would. The guy's pretty close, and it's absolutely amazing having control of the Fallout 4 map. Oh, no, no, don't fall! Don't fall, don't fall. Oh. Almost 
Almost broke what we were trying to do. Almost fell to the ground. But it's really cool having control of all the Fallout 4 map from uh, from a jetpack. It just makes it just incredibly fun and adds a, another level of, of excitement to the game. Especially if you've already gone through the game and played a lot of it. To play it with uh, a true jetpack is fun. And then we're going to land. Ah, oh, there we go. Ah. <sighs> That was nice indeed. We have made quite a far journey, guys. Quite a distance. Let's see if I can go to the map. Yeah, we traveled all the way from the Starlight Drive-In with a jetpack to this assembly plant. Fantastic. Fantastic indeed. I don't know if I see any bandits around. I think, I think we're in pretty good shape. As Lord of these lands, I essentially claim this little town as well as this assembly plant. These are all my lands indeed. And I think I, I may as well claim Lexington as well. Lord of Lexington is what I shall be. But you know, it's unfortunate. I, I don't see any bandits, any raiders, anyone to take out. I think they're scared. And the Lord of these lands flying around in mighty power. Armor. Let's just drop to the ground and see if we can get lucky. Sometimes I just like to fly up here and just be at peace with the Fallout world. It's so quiet and lovely indeed, but also you get to see some interesting things that you may not be able to see when you're walking on the ground or fast traveling. One of those things is this dam over here. I have never explored this dam, and I'm going to see if we can go over to this area and check it out. Now, I'm sure some of you guys have explored every inch of Fallout 4 map. Um, but uh, there's some things that I have yet to see and hopefully you guys are seeing some things new for the first time from a different perspective Thousands of feet up in the air Is there anything that we have to take care of? The Lord of Lexington needs to make sure that he takes care of his dam Do I see any raiders hanging about? One of the cool things about when you're in this power armor, you can just drop down right in front of raiders from a great distance and you almost kill them from the impact. But, um, I think those raiders are lucky today because I don't see any. Oh, wait a minute, there we go. Who are you, bastards? Let's drop in behind him and scare the crap out of him, right? Oh, it's a super mutant! Oh, shoot! No sir, no sir indeed. Frickin' super mutants. Let's drop down on his face with my serrated... Oh no, I don't think so sir. You can blow up down there for all I care. Oh. What are you gonna do, sir? Oh man, that is a weakness there. <laughs> I definitely don't want him to blow up in front of me. Come on, bring it. Bring it. Bring it. I don't think so. I don't think so. All right, here we go. <sighs> I'll take that mini nuke, thank you very much. <sighs> All right, that was great. That was great. Power armor with a jetpack is truly powerful. Guys, I think we've done enough today. We've killed two super mutants. I think we've secured our lands from raiders and super mutants. And frankly, I don't see anyone else that we've got to bother with today so we're going to head back to our hangar see if we can make our journey back and land in one fell swoop and now uh, guys once i get there i'm going to cut right back so i'm going to see you guys in a second just when i think we're clear this freaking bastard right here ah uh, let's take care of this land on his roof and uh show him that these are the lord of lexington's lands 
surprise! Did I kill him? I think I landed on the roof and killed the man. Oh no, I didn't. He's escaping. Not for long, sir. Not for long. Very good. Very good indeed. Ah, home sweet home. Let's just see if I can land on the, the landing pad and not on the roof. Need to make some adjustments here. Now come in this way. Ah, very good indeed. <sighs> and guys, I know there's so much work to be done. The, the lights aren't right. There, there's so many things that I need you guys help with. And so that's what I'm looking for in the comments section, guys. We're going to complete this hangar bay before we move on to the multiple floors the multiple floors uh that we have whoo burning up the building had to shut off my uh my jetpack there are multiple floors in this keep guys and we've got so many things to do we've got to build a lodging for our knights for our workers we need to build an infirmary a cafeteria also guys i want to build a mall on the very bottom floor so in the next episode we're going to kind of walk through the castle keep a little bit we're going to talk about some of the things we could possibly do but in the meantime guys i'm looking for great suggestions on how to improve the hangar bay especially some suggestions on what kind of light display should we do um, on the exit or perhaps on the entrance should there be a light display more than this coming um, on the outside so I can see it from far away when I fly in now I know I'm gonna put some more lights here to kind of really make it almost like a like a, a landing strip but perhaps some some of these lights around here to kind of make it more evident guys I cannot wait to hear you guys suggestions uh, let me just take off this stinky power armor guys and I think I'm gonna head over here and I'm gonna enjoy Anuka Quantum Cola. Oh, yeah, I'm balling like that. But, guys, I want to thank you for joining me. I had an amazing time on this episode. I am so enjoying playing Fallout 4, especially playing it with you guys for the first time. I am so looking forward to all the suggestions on how we can improve the Hangar Bay. And, guys, on the next episode, we're going to look around the castle keep a little bit more get some more suggestions for you guys on the first second and third floor and also we're going to go and adventure deep into boston and see if we can um, explore the city from a different perspective from a jetpack on fallout 4 a jetpack adventures so guys make sure you hit that like button if you're not subscribed yet what are you waiting for go ahead and hit that subscribe button again i want to thank you for joining me and i'll see you next time